Hey guys, today I've got a tutorial for you on how to create your own cheat codes for PS Vita games. There's a couple of requirements. First, you need a hack PS Vita. You can search on YouTube for how to jailbreak whatever firmware you have. And the next requirement is you'll need Vita cheat installed on your PS Vita. Again, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube for how to do that. And you're going to need a computer with Tempar, which is an awesome tool for finding pointers. I'll leave you a link for this program down in the description. And because in this tutorial we're going to be creating an infinite health cheat code, you'll need to know how to find the health value for your game. If you don't know how to do that, I'll link a tutorial for you in the description that I made. Please go and watch that. So the game that we're going to be working on is Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified. So let's jump into it. Okay, so we're going to start at the very first mission. Okay, so we launch Vita Cheat by pressing the L button as well as the right arrow on the D-pad. And as you can see in the cheat list, I currently have no cheats at all. So we go to go search and in here down on the bottom right you can see we've got a couple of different search modes. One's a normal search which is currently selected and if I press R it switches to the fuzzy search which is also known as an unknown search which is what you would need to find your health value for the very first time if you don't know what it is. And if you don't know how to do that once again please watch my other tutorial. So I'm going to switch back to normal search and I'm going to type in my health value. So we press circle, we press square to switch from decimal to hex, and we type it in. Then we go down to first search. It found two records, so we press triangle to get the results. And I know that this is the value right here, the bottom one. So we go ahead and place the line underneath it, like that, to select it. Then we press start. Now it adds it to the cheat list and we press X twice and we go to cheat list and here it is. Let's press circle and we have to write down the number that starts with 87. So it's 87 DBD C80. Let's write that down. Okay. Now we press X twice and we go to cross memory, press circle and we go to export memory safe mode. And now we'll create a memory dump file, which will transfer over to our computer. But first we have to set the range. So because our address started with 87, the beginning of the range, we drop it by four, so it'll be 83. And the end of the range, we just go up by one, so it'll be 88 in my case. Press circle, then press start. And down on the bottom left, You'll see it says dumping, please wait. Okay, so once it's done, it'll say you've successfully exported it and it'll give you the location to where it stored it. So let's exit the game. And let's just go right back in and repeat this process once again, preferably in a different mission. Okay, so my first memory dump was created using the first mission. So now, usually what I do is I go to the last open or available mission for me, and I repeat the process. And then the cheat code should work for all the missions in between. Okay, so we bring up Vita Cheat, and we go to Go Search, and we type in our health value. Okay, once again, I know it's the bottom one, so we place the line underneath it, and we press start to add it to the cheats list. And let's go ahead and write this number down that starts with 87. Okay, now we go to cross memory and export memory safe mode. Same as before, we set the beginning of the range to 83 because the address started with 87 and the end of the range to 88. 
So you go down by four and up by one. Press circle and press star. Okay, it's done. So we can go ahead and exit the game and let's get into Vita Shell. So the location of the files is UX0 Vita Cheat Mem. And here are our two memory dump files. Let's go ahead and transfer those over to the computer via USB and we'll switch over to the PC for the next part. Okay, on the computer, I created a folder and in it I have the two memory dump files which I transferred over from the PS Vita a moment ago, as well as the Tempar tool. Once again, this is an awesome tool for finding pointers and the reason we need to find a pointer is because this particular game uses dynamic memory allocation, which means that the location where the health value is stored will change whenever we close the game and go back into it, or it can change. It doesn't always change, but it will definitely at some point. And also when we go to a different mission or level, if your game uses static or fixed memory allocation, then finding a pointer is not necessary. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we have to use Tempar to find the pointer. Once again, a link for this program will be down in the description. In this folder, I also have the two addresses that we wrote down earlier from the PS Vita as well as our health value. So with that, let's go ahead and open up Tempar. We go to Pointer Searcher, and we load up our first memory dump. And the address that goes along with that. And then the second memory dump, and the address that goes along with that one. We switch the mode from Sony PSP to Other. And for our base address, we use whatever we used for the beginning of the range for our memory dump. In my case, it was 83. And the reason is because my address started with 87. So we drop it by four, it becomes 83. If your address starts with 85, for example, then you would use 81 for your base address. For the maximum offset, I like to add another zero here and make it 10,000 just to make sure I don't miss out on any pointers and the list is not all that overwhelmingly big. You can scroll through it pretty quickly. For our value, we use the health value and we check real addresses. Now I know for this game, I have to include negatives, but you may not have to. And then we click find pointers. Here's our list. Let's start scrolling through it. And any green lines such as this one are pointers. Here are two more. And as you can see, the list scrolls through pretty quickly. I'm going to take a second to scroll through it and make sure there are no other pointers. Okay. I finished scrolling through the entire list. And these three lines were the only green lines that we have. So let's start with the first pointer. So this value right here, 83E8F810, is our pointer. Let's write it down. And the way we structure our cheat code is we take this value right here and we place it next to the pointer, like so. And in the beginning of the line, we add a dollar sign 3201. Now what we are denoting with this 3201 is that this is a level one pointer and the pointer level is determined by where we find the pointer. In other words, because I was able to find the pointer without double clicking any of these lines, this is a level one pointer. If you don't find any pointers at all, then what you can do is you could go all the way back to the top and start double clicking on these lines one by one like this. It adds a plus sign with which you can expand the list. And then if you find the pointer here, that would be a level two pointer, in which case this would become a 3202. So let's hope that you are as lucky as I am for your game and that you can find it as a level one pointer. Under each pointer line, we have to add a dollar sign 3300 and eight zeros, as well as the health value. So this can be whatever value you want. If you just use the original health value, the game will freeze your health for you. 
but you have to be careful because for some games and Call of Duty is one of them, you'll become invincible against enemy weapons and stabs and melee kills, etc. But they can still kill you with grenades or you can still die from an explosion. To fix that, let's head over to the hex to float converter and I'll show you what to do. So we go to float value and we type in seven nines and we click convert to hex. And this is the value that you need to use instead of your health value. So we copy that in place of our health value. And now we will be truly invincible against grenades, explosions, and everything. So we continue. So here are two more pointers, but you have to be mindful of negatives. These are negatives. You can't use them like that. You have to convert them first. And the way to convert them is to click on AR down here and then click away from the green line and back on the green line. And this is the value that you would need to use next to your pointer. And let's go ahead and copy the pointer. So again, this is a level one pointer and next to the pointer goes this value right here. And same as before, we copy this line underneath it and then we have one more pointer. And the value is identical. And then we add this line one more time here. And now it's ready. So now you take all of these, copy them, open up a brand new notepad file, put in a pound sign and the game's ID. underscore v zero and name your cheat whatever you want paste the codes now you go to save it and you use the game's id for the file name and here's our cheat file all that's left to do is to rename it by replacing the .txt with .psv. Now we can transfer this over to the PS Vita to test it out. Okay, back on the PS Vita, let's open up Vita Shell. And the cheat file needs to go in UX0 Vita Cheat and the DB folder. And here's our cheat file that we transferred over from the PC a moment ago. So let's go ahead and test it out. So if you recall, for our first memory dump, we used the first mission. And for our second memory dump, we used the last mission right down here. So I think a good way to test this cheat is just to go randomly into some mission in between, like maybe this mission right here, and test it out there. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a look at the cheat codes. Yep, they're here, they are the correct ones. So let's try to test it out. So let's activate the cheat by pressing square and it turns blue and let's test it out. And as you can see, it's working. And now I'm gonna test it out against grenades, but I wanna kill these guys first. Okay, let's test it out against grenades.
And as you can see, it's working. So I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and please stay tuned because soon I'm going to be uploading a tutorial on how to fix a situation that you may encounter where your enemies also get infinite health. So I'll be showing you how to filter them out and exclude them from getting infinite health as well, because if they get infinite health as well, obviously you won't be able to kill them. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.